and welcome to Rocky and Motor Speedway in Corby, Northamptonshire for rounds 4, 5 and 6 of the 2016 BRSGC XCOOL OSS Championship. The last time out at the fantastic season opener at Silverstone, it was Josh Smith, Graham Cole and Duncan Williams who all took a win each. Here at Rocky, it's a very different circuit with the high speed banking of the opening section and the very twisty infield section, it's going to make for several cars and drivers having different strengths at different times. Let's get down towards the holding area for race number one where we can get in amongst some of the action and experience just what it's like in this incredible paddock. Well, as you can see, we're down here in the holding area for the first race of the weekend here at Rockham, and the atmosphere is pretty awesome. You can see behind me here, Mike Jemby's car is being noise tested at the moment as well. We've got Duncan Williams' junior in the mix, Josh Smith, the 2014 champion in the Radical, and Graham Cole, who took a victory last time out at Silverstone. A few more cars in the mix as well. Watch out for these. These are the two little cars in the Aquila class from Denmark. These are powered by a Citroen C1 engine, and they're pretty cool. They're made by sort of university students and also up there in the mix to try and have their own class battles. Another car to watch out for in the mix is another car behind me here, which is car number four, making its debut in the championship this year. This is the Norma from France. It normally runs in V to V. It's going to be in the hands of Ian Hart and Ian Forrest this weekend. That's going to be a crucial car in the mix too. Brilliant looking car as well. One guy we're actually going to go have a chat to is Joe Stable. He's only just joined the championship. He was going to be an invitation class driver, but he's actually decided he wants to join the championship now in his radical. So we're going to have a chat to the number 98 now. We have a quick word with him now. Joe, good to see you. You've just joined the championship just before the first race. How are the nerves setting in? It's fine actually, yeah, I'm absolutely fine with it. It's just a standard radical, but we've had the 1340 tuned. I hope for a bit of competition of Josh Smith at the front, hopefully. Thanks Joe, best of luck for the first race. And now it is time for the first race. Let's hand you over to race commentator Richard John Neal to take you through the grid for this one. Richard, over to you. Thank you, Scott. Duncan Williams, overall pole. He's in Class B, Class C pole, Josh Smith alongside. Then it's the Class A pole, Graham Cole. Mike Genvy on his outside, then Craig Mitchell and Joe Stables. Fourth row, Graham Hill and Paul Spencer, followed by Eamon Matheson and Robert Ball. Darcy Smith and Doug Carter complete row six. Row seven, Alistair Smart and Norman Lackford. Then it's our class D runner, Daniel Prendergast and Doug Bokit. Adam Dale next with Martin Baker, followed by Neil Harris and Ginger Marshall. Ian Hart, 21st. The Aquila pole man, Kevin Sewenson, followed by Paul Watson, Carolis Griska and Jordan Sanders starting 25th and the lone starter on row 13. The cars on the rolling start here at Rockingham Motor Speedway, the black Juno of Duncan Williams on pole position and to his outside it's Josh Smith but scything through is Graham Cole, Graham Cole from fourth position in the Jade Trackstar around turn one down in towards the hairpin for the first time this is where it all funnels down and they'll try and sort them out sinks themselves out single file so good sort out going on as they go through the hairpin for the first time down towards Yentwood and here's the view from Paul Spencer Paul looking ahead to the Ligier of Craig Mitchell Paul Spencer qualified in eighth position on the grid Joe Stables has made a good start. Great that he's joined the main championship. There's Mike Genvy. A disappointing meeting for Mike at Silverstone. Three retirements. So he's looking to do a lot better here. Qualified in fourth place. And the Genvy gun looking very competitive today. Cars coming down in towards the Tarzan hairpin here. And you can see Genvy at the moment down behind Joe Stables with Josh Smith the Class C leader immediately ahead of them but we've got a battle on for the lead with Graham Cole looking for the lead challenging Duncan Williams Cole running in Class A he was the Class Pole position man and just look at this footage right out to that wall and coming through into the lead great move by Graham Cole but Duncan Williams has got a fantastic line around turn one, reclaims the lead. This is some of the fastest racing you'll see around the full circuit here at Rockingham. Mike Genvy now has managed to get past Josh Smith, so he's making progress. Paul Spencer 
still chasing Craig Mitchell. Spencer running in Class A, one of the front runners in that class. Duncan Williams, though, has stamped his authority on this race. Rounds turn one, and you can see now that Mike Genvy, you'll see him come into shot. The Genvy gun is closing up. This has been a terrific race from Mike Genvy. He was running down in fifth position on lap number one. He's chipped away. This is exactly the style of sports car racing that we see. Mike knows that races aren't won on lap one, and he's just chipping away at the lead that Duncan Williams has. He's picked off several positions here and he's closing in on Duncan Williams. Genvy's got the fastest lap of the race as well. That was back on lap five. Is Williams going to hold on? Genvy's really on a mission. Great to see that car running after the disappointment at Silverstone. Duncan Williams, of course, runs in Class B as well. So this is the battle not only for the overall lead, but also the battle for Class B honours. They're on school straight for the last time. Gen V is a car on stage. Look at that wide racing line there. You've got to say, Williams getting a little bit defensive. A tighter line into the Brook S's. Williams is going to come out on top here, and Gen V is going to have to rely on a very good run out of turn four and across the line. But the checker is there. Duncan Williams takes the win. Mike Gen a very close second position. Joe Stables is third. He wins Class C. Graham Cole fourth, winning Class A. Josh Smith next from Craig Mitchell, then Darcy Smith and Eamon Matheson, Paul Spencer, Alistair Smart, Doug Carter next. Daniel Prendergast was 12th, winning Class E, and the Aquila Synergy class being won by Paul Watson. He finished in 19th place. Fastest lap overall to Mike Genvy, Graham Cole in Class A, Joe Stables in Class C. Joe, what a way to announce yourself into Class C. Your first race actually registered in the championship and you get it with a class victory. Couldn't have started any better. No, it was a, it was a good race, good start to the season, yeah. Good start to the, uh, the championship. You wanted to be up there fighting with Josh and you managed to do that. Are you a little bit surprised as to how much you were able to have an advantage over him, do you think? Yeah, I was quite surprised how I managed to get him so early in the race and managed to pull away. Very surprising. Daniel, a nice continuation from Silverstone where you picked up a couple of victories. Great way to start the weekend. It's pretty pleasing for you. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was a good way to start the weekend. Uh, we've got a few issues with the car and a bit disappointing that no one else running in Class E uh, this weekend, uh, which is a bit unfortunate. So a little bit of a shallow victory. Um, but yeah, it had, a, it had a good battle um, with some of the higher class cars. Um, until an oil leak developed, which was all over the back tyres, so the car became slightly uncontrollable. Um, but no, I'd still had fun. It was, it was a good race. So, straight on to race two here at Rockingham, and once again, the holding area is an absolute hive of activity. So many wonderful sports prototypes in the mix. But there's one guy that we're going to try and have a chat to now, and that is actually Norman Lackford in Class B, because it's a special day today, and we'll get on to that in a second, but let's have a chat to him. Norman, good, good, good to see you, and of course you're in for race two today. How's the car looking this morning? I hope it's better today. We, the tyres literally died yesterday, and it was just all over the place. We found some second-hand Pirellis, which we're trying today. First time we've ever run on them. Yesterday I went straight on at the bottom and ran out of brakes, and wasted a lot of time. You should mention it's Norman's birthday, so have a good race and happy birthday from us on that one. Have a good one. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, let's let Norman and the rest of the field get out there, and let's hand you back over to Richard John Neal to take you through the grid for race number two. Josh Smith on outright pole. Craig Mitchell takes the Class B pole. Class A pole position with Graham Cole on row three. Alongside him is Graham Hill, who had an electrical failure in race number one. Robert Ball is back out this time. He had a technical fault in qualifying, didn't do race one. Daniel Prendergast had a lap record. He's on pole for Class E. The Aquila Synergy class is headed by Kevin Sewenson. Lines up 20th on row 10 and 24 cars taking to the grid here at Rocky and Motor Speedway for race two. So rolling start once again, and it's Josh Smith from pole position. Here's Graham Cole. He's siding his way through the traffic. Cole! from sixth position on the grid has got the lead we go on board with Josh Smith the pole man who finds himself down in second position big sort out as ever at the front Graham Hill working his way through Mike Genvy in number one he's passed by Eamon Matheson Matheson in the ES mission running in class A second in class A Graham Cole the uh, overall race leader is at the head of that class 
So some wonderful action. If this doesn't entice you to come along and watch, even if not to come and drive in this championship, I don't know what will. Superb start, some glorious machinery that uh, takes part in this championship. It's Graham Cole, the leader. Josh Smith, second. Joe Stables in third. We're looking at Graham Hill ahead of Eamon Matheson. Hill is fifth overall at the moment. He's running in Class C, third place in Class C. Eamon Matheson leading Class A. And then in behind them, it's Mike Genvy, seventh position. Uh, and leading Class B in this one, Jordan Sanders is in the Juno in black immediately behind them as we watch Craig Mitchell, fourth position, chasing Joe Stables at the moment along the school straight. Eamon Matheson, I think about to be passed by Mike Genvy, but the green car of Matheson's got the inside line. He's going to deal with Graham Hill. Genvy's left to try and go around the outside. So wonderful racing here at the end of the first lap at Rockingham. Race two, round five of the championship. The race leader, Graham Cole, is away. You're looking there at Josh Smith just going across line second position. And now here comes Mike Genvy doing what he did in race number one, starting to pick them off. He goes past Hill. He goes around Matheson on turn one, that big sweep. All very cleanly and nicely done. Matheson is going to try and fight back, though. Genvy's got the inside line. Matheson, oh, back end wants to come around on the exit of the Dean hairpin, and they go down towards Edward. And Genvy has now got in front of that that group of cars but as you can see there's a, a fair bit of space ahead of him there's Jordan Sanders in the Juno number 10 takes over the Juno from Duncan Williams in this race and he's got some work to do started seventh on the grid third in class B but uh, up with Matheson and Graham Hill in the 72 car the class C machine going along the straight here more for you after the break Welcome back to Rockingham Motor Speedway and our second race of round two of the 2016 X-Cool Open Sports Car Championship. And we're looking at the battle for sixth position on track. We've got Eamon Matheson ahead of Graham Hill and then Jordan Sanders. Matheson running first in the A class, Hill third in class C and Sanders second in class B but looking to make some overall ground here. He needs to try and close in on the Class B leader, which is Mike Genvy. Genvy's away and down the road. You might remember seeing Genvy uh, towards the end of part one of the programme, getting clear of this battle. And Jordan Sanders trying to close in at the moment. But Matheson holds sway in sixth position. Graham Hill third in Class C in this race at the moment. Josh Smith leading that ahead of Joe Stables a little way down the road. And Graham Cole, with that wonderful start, looking for his second outright win of the year. He won race two in event one of the year at Silverstone. Was fourth in race number one here, but taking a class victory. So progress for Sanders, who's now ahead of Hill and chasing down Matheson. We'll see whether he can get a little bit closer to Matheson going down into the... This is the Tarzan hairpin, which leads them back back behind the race school building here at Rockingham. You can actually come and learn to race here at Rockingham. And uh, that's why this particular piece of the circuit is called School Straight. Very slightly uphill, and then a downhill run into the first part of the S's, which is a left hand of the Brook S's. And then they'll come back onto the main straight and have that massive adrenaline rush along the main straight and into turn one of the oval very good move indeed there by Sanders who moves up into sixth position overall but Eamon Matheson returns the compliment goes back into position well out front in the race as you can see by no means a done deal we are into the closing stages of this 20 minute race but it's Graham Cole out front and Mike Genvy has produced another superb drive. The defending champion in the Genvy Gun TS6 is closing right in. And you can see what Scott Woodwiss was saying on the introduction to the programme. Different cars adapt well and respond well to different parts of the circuit. And that's what Mike Genvy is showing here. But it looks as if Graham Cole, perhaps in the Jade Trackstar, has done enough to grab his second outright win of the year. It's going to be a wide run here by Mike Genvy up to the flag. But Graham Cole takes the overall win. Class win for Mike Genvy in second position. Behind them, Joe Stables wins Class C. Then it was Craig Mitchell and Josh Smith. 
Graham Hill gets a finish in this one. He's in sixth position from Doug Bokett. The class winner for the Aquila Synergy class goes to the Dane, Kevin Sewardson. He finishes in 18th, ahead of Paul Hill, Carolis Griska. It was a pretty good win. Um, really happy with the handling of the car. I had new tyres on for this race, hence it was a lot better than yesterday. But when you put new tyres on, you put them at a, a cold pressure and you hope that they go up by the usual amount. Well, this lot didn't, and even up to about 25 PC, PSI. And it should be running at about 21, so it got a bit loose at the rear. And besides, Mike is pretty quick anyway, so he's catching me the, towards the end. Really good, obviously. We started fourth on the grid, which is a bit far back, but we were bedding in new brake pads. We had a braking problem yesterday. Um, so we put new pads on, and I hadn't bedded them in, so I had a very cautious first perhaps four laps um, and then they started they kept fading at the end and they started to come in more and more and I started to be able to push more. Two races down one more to go this is the final race of the weekend here at Rockingham and the grid is set by the results of race number two. The one man I'm going to have a quick word with is car number seven that is Jordan Sanders. Jordan just quickly you've had some issues with this car so far this season how's it looking for race three? Yeah we've had quite a lot of issues um, Thursday testing we had a, an ECU problem which fried and it's just been ongoing problems from there qualifying and race one we didn't get out race two we're in the, we're in the juno and we had an engine problem there but i guess anything up from here even if we complete a lap would be good for us so excellent best of luck jordan and with that let's take you through the final grid of the weekend once again handing over to richard john neal graham cole therefore starts on pole position the winner of race two he's class a class b pole mike genvy lines up alongside class c pole third on the grid Joe Stables, well done Joe on the lap record in race number two. Full grid of cars, Kevin Sewenson once again pole position for the Aquila Synergy class and the man we just heard from, Jordan Sanders, lines up down on row 10. So he's got some work to do, having switched over into the Radical, we'll see what he could do from 20th on the grid. Sadly, Graham Cole missing from the grid. This could be an opportunity, therefore, for Mike Genby from the outside of the otherwise unoccupied front row. Leads around turn one. Brilliant start from him. Josh Smith has come up from fifth on the grid, or the fifth place on the grid, up into second position. Craig Mitchell in 22. The Ligier chasing Joe Stables, who's second. Graham Hill is next. David Matheson looking down the inside um, as well. As you can see, conditions tricky, and it's Genvy out front at the moment. So Mike Genvy looking for another class win. Second in class and second overall in race one. Class win, second on the road in race two. And we know what his pace has been like as the races have been developing. He's been getting quicker and quicker, and he's on the front in this one. So Mike's going to have his fingers crossed to try and get the win. Josh Smith still in second, Joe Stables third. So we've got a Class B car, the two Radicals running in Class C, and then Craig Mitchell, who's in Class B. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Sadly, uh, the end of a miserable meeting for Robert Ball in the Nemesis. Flame out from him, and he's out of the race. Into the Brook chicane go the race leaders. The lead quartet starting to develop a little bit of a gap over the fifth position car and Mike Genvy looking comfortable at the moment out front through turn four under the gantry here tick off another lap these races timed out at 20 minutes and uh, checkered flag comes out after the 20 minutes here's Martin Baker a class B podium in race two and great to see Martin 46 year old from Weymouth running well in the radical pro sport back to that top four Genvy still in front remember even if those two cars immediately behind him passed him he would still be in the class lead Robert Ball you're just seeing extricating himself from his car and he's out to safety rain still on the camera lens here indicating that things still could get tricky and we've got a challenge on for lead position Genvy coming under pressure now from Josh Smith Josh Smith having a good go. Genvy will have his mirrors full of that car and will want the overall win. This circuit, incidentally, the Rockingham International Super Sports Car Circuit, they call it, runs in just over two, uh, two miles. Back on board with Martin Baker. That's Doug Carter uh, immediately in front. And once again, Martin Baker running on podium pace in Class B. So he's hoping to grab a second podium of the year here. 
having a very good look at Carter to see if he could go past, but uh, we'll keep tabs on that battle through the race. So battle continues here, and as you see, we've had a change for the lead. It was Josh Smith, and now Joe Stables goes through and takes the overall lead. Mike Genvy back in third place, but still leading class. That actually gives Craig Mitchell a little bit of a clear run now to have a go at Mike Genvy for the class lead. Out of turn four, Joe Stables gets the last lap board here at Rockingham. So, Stables out front, Josh Smith in second position. The two Radicals, the two Class C cars leading this one. And are we going to see a first outright victory here for Joe Stables in the 98 car? Running superbly at the moment, Josh Smith trying to hunt him down. Stables is lighting up, the track is drying out, getting quicker and quicker. And Stables is lighting up. The timing screen here with purple sectors and that means that he's setting the fastest parts of each lap as we go through this last lap so he could be on his way here perhaps to fastest lap maybe another lap record but stables out front a little bit of back marker traffic to deal with very neatly through on the inside line and is has a, a reasonable gap at the moment over josh smith mike genby still leads class b Josh Smith chasing, he's running second position in Class C at the minute. Third position in C is Graham Hill in the 72 Radical. They come along school straight for the last time. Class B obviously led by Genvy from Mitchell with Martin Baker running third position. We had that on board from him, he's third position in Class B. But uh, across the line he's going to come, Joe Stables, and takes his first outright chequered flag. Josh Smith in second, but an amendment to the results sees Stables drop due to yellow flag infringements to fourth. Josh Smith, therefore, the winner, overall winner in Class C. Mike Genvy wins Class B and finishes second overall. Doug Bokett wins Class A in 15th position. Kevin Sewenson, again, winning the Aquila Synergy class down in 18th place. Doug, incredible effort for you to grab yourself a class victory after I guess it must have been a very long winter rebuilding the car. It's all come to fruition. Yeah, it has. Uh, well, uh, my partner Bev's done a lot of work. Um, we've had to remake all the all the fiberglass bodywork, all the suspension. Uh, we've done all the work ourselves, and so this is the first race since um, Silverstone last year. You know, when we crashed it, so we've been over 12 months out, and yeah, but it's, it, it was good fun. So yeah. So as spots of rain start to come down at the end of a fantastic two days here at Rockingham, it's been some of the best racing that the OSS Championship has ever seen and three exceptional winners. Well done to Duncan Williams, Graham Cole and to first time winner Joe Stables in his first full weekend in the Championship. Excellent racing all round. Now I dare say you'll be back for the next rounds when the Championships head across to Kent and to the Brands Hatch Indy Circuit on July 9th and 10th. If you want to find out more about the Championship, head to their website opensportseries.blogspot.co.uk and you can also follow them on Twitter at OSS. BRSCC. Speaking of which, you can also follow the club's activities on the website brscc.co.uk and also follow them on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and subscribe to the YouTube channel where highlights of this programme will appear very shortly. From all of us here at Rockium, I'm Scott Woodwiss. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time for more action from the x -Cool Open Sports Car Series. Bye for now.